Yeah. It's about unexpected situations that happen with us. Right. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I'm giving you a situation as you have read about the bank manager. You are the bank manager. You are going on your job in the morning and suddenly some robbers enter your bank with guns in their hands and they demand huge amount of money and gold from you. So how would you react? What would be your first reaction at that particular time? Uh, first of all, I, uh, I don't react more. I, I just, you know, uh, cool and I speak with them. Uh, the How will is, you speak? Like, you know, they just want money. They are threatening you. I speak with them very friendly and uh, I know what's their uh, demands and... Uh, I'll, I'll talk with them and what do you want from us and uh, and I will talk to them. That's it. Okay, now we're talking and you're telling that you'll ask their demands or whatever they want from you. Uh, that means you're trying to settle the situation or calm or trying to calm the situation. Right. Now this is called as negotiation. Okay. This particular thing is called as Negotiation. Negotiation comes at the end of the situation. Yeah. Negotiation mm -hmm. comes at the end of the situation. First okay. will be they are demanding. Okay. They yes. want, you know, they are telling, just do all this, empty all your lockers, bring gold, bring this, bring that. So what will you say? What will you tell them? How would you handle the situation? Yes. And you know, we, we don't have choice, right? And you know, they have guns with them. Okay. And we have to do what, what they said we have to do. That's it. And we don't have chance. Yeah. So all other people in the bank, you know, look up to you because you are their manager. So how would you try to handle the situation? I will, I tell them, you know, uh, don't worry my customers and you just sit down and cool and uh, uh, I handle with uh, uh, robberies and, you know, I speak with them and I will settle, you know, I will settle the situation. Say. Yeah, I will settle the situation and you don't panic and you just go and uh, have some water and you just sit the uh, other side and you don't worry about this and you just uh, think about yourself and you do your works on your phones and etc. I just go to them and uh, I will handle the situation. So you're telling you'll negotiate. Mm. You'll negotiate with them. Now they are demanding a high amount, a very big amount, a very large no. amount. No. So what would you do? Will you give it away the entire amount to them without thinking anything because it is other people's money, not your money, right? Yeah. So how will you tackle this? How will you manage them? Would you negotiate or something? Yeah, first, uh, you know, it, it depends, right? And you know, how they are reacting like that, you know. I ask them if they ask for 100% money, I, I will give them, you know, you just adjust with 50% of money. It's not mine. You know, and like that. But, you know, they are robbers and they don't listen, uh, you know, from myself. And what we call, uh, they are not our customers and they are not requesting, you know, they don't think like I'm a manager. <laughs> Our customers yeah. think like I'm a manager and they, you know, uh, they speak with very, you know, they speak yeah, with they very speak politely. With you. Politely. Politely. You can't but expect the same from them. From them, right? And, you know, here in this situation, and uh, money doesn't matter. And, you know, the situation... Lives you know, of they, the people matter. Yeah, lives of the people is matters, right? Yeah. So I have to do, you know... Uh, I have to control this situation and uh, uh, I don't you know let any customer to panic and uh, from robberies I save all my customers and you know I will go you know whatever robberies said and uh, I will agree with them and uh, I will send them out with their demands and, okay. and what whatever they want and I will send them out that's it okay. and the next whatever things will happen and everyone you know uh, everyone is you'll see it later on yeah mm, yes I okay so now it. they have robbed your bank they took away the money that they wanted post that what will you do they left your bank so okay. what will you do after that 
after that you know i call police and uh, i i i tell them you know robbery just took the amount and uh, they are going this way and like did this way they are going and they, so you will give all the details yeah I, i give them details and i will tell them how uh, how they disappear and, and how they came and which vehicle uh, they used and yeah. i i give them details and i i give them my bank cc footage to them and all over okay. and all over to them okay apart from informing the police what all security measures will you take in order to avoid this situation in future yeah you know what means you know uh, i will arrange a alarm in in our bank the emergency you know, alarm yeah like that i you know it's not i don't need to call and i don't need to take a mobile like that you know Uh, that is very advanced level i will keep that alarm very advanced level if i feel like you know it's like a switch if we if we want to on the a fan we will switch on the right yeah, so like that, that uh, yeah yeah I, um, i just you know in my surroundings i just keep that uh, alarm that safety alarm and if if uh, any situations came like that i just uh, a switch on that alarm oh okay. that's very nice good thought that's okay it. navin so would you ever think of leaving the job because this job has risk of your life you know that you were at the gun point robbers came and they tried to harass you so will you think of resigning from such a job no uh, i i don't want to resign the job you know already the situation you know i experience i i experienced it right and in future if see yeah, you know already i'm experienced uh, so if anything uh, in future it will come and i will handle it and that's you know, nice that's not okay. a problem and... okay okay uh, navin i need to ask you one thing how would you prefer to be corrected like should i correct you at the end of the session or in the middle of the session and first of all i want to ask you one thing and which is the best which, which is the best one in, uh, in between or in the end which is uh, the best for learners actually the thing that we are discussing has two topics we have ended one topic so i thought of uh, clarifying the first topic and then moving on to the second because otherwise uh, even i'll be difficult at remembering those sentences and you will also not understand it better yes yeah so uh, whatever you are telling me i speak to them i calm them these all are future statements that you will do because that situation has not come yet it will come or it may happen so all this all these statements are for future so you have to put these statements in future tense that is will i will convince them i will talk to them i will calm them will. so the missing word is will to make your statements more correct will. yeah no other uh, mistake was there only the statements are not in the future tense